Hey everybody, Raymond Francis here. Let's talk about anesthesia and the use of anesthetics in children. You know, in the United States every year, over a million children under the age of four have surgeries that use general anesthesia. Some of these surgeries are necessary, such as correcting heart defects or repairing cleft palate. The vast majority are not necessary, and this includes tonsillectomies and placing of ear tubes. There are safer, non-surgical ways to deal with these problems. Surgery itself is a traumatic shock to the body, and it results in lasting damage, and anesthesia damages the brain. For surgery that is, that is necessary, it's a trade-off between the damage and the benefits. For surgery that is not necessary, it's a bad deal. Chemicals used for anesthesia kill cells in the brain and can cause memory, learning, and behavioral problems. The FDA is now warning that repeated use of anesthesia in children under the age of three or one-time surgery lasting more than three hours may harm brain development. This warning also applies to pregnant women who have surgery. The FDA is also requiring warning labels to be added to general anesthetic products. Studies of repeated or lengthy exposure to anesthesia have found negative effects to subsequent learning and behavior. Studies looking at a single brief exposure have not found any immediate negative effects. However, be cautious because it's almost impossible to conduct a study to measure damage that may become apparent in later years and then to prove that anesthetics were the cause of that damage. The best course of action is this. Avoid all unnecessary surgery for yourself and your children. Since it's estimated that only about 10% of surgery is medically necessary, that means a lot of really bad choices are being made. But health is a choice, and it's up to you, and it's up to you to inform yourself and then make those good choices. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy.